today we today we are going to be embarking on a very special project for my girl Megan here so as you can see there's this funky Meg I've got this funky vintage like I don't know if it's actually vintage it's definitely like 2000s Y2K Disney TV I don't know if it works we might test it out before we get started but I want to make one of those like TV converted into a cat house for Megan so my plan is to destroy the screen empty out whatever the frick is in there and make it like a little house for her that's a plan I actually kind of want to see if this thing works I'm gonna plug it in oh awesome that just came right out okay it's plugged in do you like it Meg I'm gonna see if it turns on where's the I'm guessing this is a power button okay I don't think it works oh oh <gasps> oh it has little flowers all right well we'll see you later Cindy our whole project could end here because I have no idea what is inside of this? Is it? I don't know what to do. I don't know, do I open it from the back? Can't believe we got stuck on step one. I'm gonna do some research and I'll come back. Okay, so I figured out on the back of the TV there's a bunch of screw holes. So instead of trying to smash the TV open, I went and bought this real long screwdriver and we're gonna see if he can help us out. Hopefully, because this thing was like $10 for a screwdriver. This bitch better be good, that's all I'm saying. I've secured a screwdriver. Take two. I don't know how the frick this packaging works. I'm trying to get it out. Mm -hmm. Am I just a bit? Okay. I don't know if that's what I do. Oh, I'm gonna just that one. Yeah! Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, it's long enough. Oh my god, it's working. So, moment of... <gasps> Guys, I'm a fucking pro, are you kidding? Whoa! We've got a TV, folks. Meg, no! So fucking stupid. I'm just gonna find all the screws I can and see what I can pull out from just undoing those. Meg, back off. on the side. Holy, my hands are disgusting. Is getting wasted. I'm 
going to go ahead and work on just cleaning it and then I will come back when it is time to paint. I kind of forgot I was making this video so I already started painting but right now I'm working on I'm spray painting the inside green it's kind of dark so I'm in the garage but that's the color we're going for. I'm just going to spray paint the entire inside and get it coated. And then I'm going to hand paint the inside, which I will get a much better video of. But I will show you when this is all done. This is how it's looking. I'm going to let it sit out here and dry for a while. And then I'll come out and get it. So after painting an entire layer, well, actually two layers of this green, and realizing it's still not going to cover the pink, I decided I'm just going to paint it black. And then we'll see where we want to go from there. I'd rather have it look smooth than have it be like crazy colors. So, yeah, I'm good painting. This is what it looks like after doing my first layer of black there's it's a bit splotchy so I'm gonna go back and touch it up but I thought I could give you a little anecdote about the floor over here so I had my paint water sitting out and Meg spilled it so there's a big splotchy on the ground and so we're slowly removing it but we've used an entire aerosol can of 409 carpet spray and it's still not gone so we might be Saying goodbye to our safety deposit. <laughs> okay, I'll show you when this layer's done. That's going to be all for this video. I originally thought I was going to go in and make a whole cushion for this thing and really vamp it out. But with my tester cushion that's in it, Megan like w refuses to lay in it. So I don't really see the point in putting in that much effort. So unless she starts showing interest in it, I don't plan on making a cushion. I just have a bunch of blankies in there so it can still be comfy if she ever does want to use it. But I hope this is helpful if you have a cat that you think would like this i just found that tv at the goodwill so just keep an eye out and have a good one bye